I'm a proud member of the Young Democratic Socialists of America on campus. Um, I'm expecting booze from that. I don't mind. No, you're, um, you're around conservatives, so. Also, for the record, um, not that it matters, but if I were to host an event on campus, I'd be more than happy to have people disagree with me to come first. Unfortunately, I do not get to host events. I wish. Uh, first off, I wanted to just make a, a small factual correction to something that you said, uh, which is about the 130 uh, migrants on the terror list that have crossed the border. Um, the actual number is 160, and those were numbers that had been stopped at the border, meaning they were prevented from entering, uh, which means that these people were stopped during the Biden administration. Right. So you're not exactly strengthening your argument. Um, it's actually higher. Thank you. And so how many pe gotaways have there been at the border this year? Say that again? Sorry. Got gotaways, people that weren't tracked that we don't know that came into the interior? Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of hard to track, as you said. Uh, however, that's actually – I just wanted to – Yeah, it's about 500,000 minimum. Wow, okay. Yeah, I just wanted wow. to give you that number, though, just so that you're aware. But um, that's actually not my question my qu – or my – Point, I guess. My point was about uh, Palestine. Um, you what? mentioned what, what country? Palestine. Is that? Oh, okay, where is that? In the Middle East. I, I, wait, is it in Judea and Samaria? I'm sorry. Say that again. I can't hear you. What, well. what, what country are you talking about? Palestine. It exists. Yes. Oh. In fact, it existed before the current Israel. Oh, really? Yes. According to who? Uh, according to history books. Oh, okay. So wait, you mean Judea and Samaria, the rightful homeland of the Jews that they call the West Bank and they're currently occupying? If you're going by religion, sure. I personally don't go by religion. Oh, what do you, what do you go by then? What, where the Arabs want to occupy? Logic. Oh, and really? History. So whose is Gaza? Uh, Gaza is a location. I'm sorry, I'm getting a call and I don't want that to interfere in the mic. Uh, Gaza's location within Palestine. But I'd like to go on to my point, if you will. Um, currently, Israel is actually being labeled by international human rights organizations such as Amnesty International as an apartheid state because they are attacking many people from within Palestine and they have been actually, the land has been stolen from Palestine. Not to say that the people in uh, Israel do not deserve their own land. I am, personally, I am a believer in a two-state solution. I want to make that clear. And I also want to make clear that I do not agree with the uh, recent incidents because there is no excuse for harming civilians. However, I do want to make you're a morally point. clear on that. Good. Thank you. Uh, I do want to make clear that also um, Israel has captured more than 228 Palestinian children in which they held in containment. And of these, 86 percent uh, were beaten. Oh, and these were, by the way, the, the 220 is only those that were able to be surveyed. So they were recovered. Um, the 86% of those were beaten in detention, 69% were strip searched, and 42% were injured at the point of arrest. Uh, additionally, I would like to add, due to your claim about dictators, that Benjamin Netanyahu has been in power since 2009, and he also held in power since not, from 1996 to 1999. Um, so that, you that's could argue true. that. There's actually a moment when he wasn't prime minister. That's, now, now that's Tali, why I said. Now, Tali uh, Bennett well was that. actually, and he's duly elected. When was the last time a boss won an election? Say that again? When was the last time Mahmoud Abbas won an election? That I do currently not have. Yeah, eight years. They don't hold elections because they're under a dictatorship. I'm just curious because I want to try to find some clarity more than agreement because we're not going to find agreement. Um, if Israel stopped fighting, what would happen? If they laid down all their guns tomorrow, what would happen? I Personally, I can't say I'm not in charge of any of the leadership. Yes, yeah, so all the Jews would be killed. If Hamas it's laid not down, about Judaism, though. If, if Israel's actually the ones that have taken Palestine's land. Okay, again, I'm just, I'm just Palestine. trying to find some moral clarity. If Hamas laid down all of their weapons, what would we have? There would be no more Palestine. Peace is what we would have. No, that's we would have peace. Excuse my language, but that's bullshit. And you okay, know so it. let me ask this: Why did Israel give Gaza back to the Arab Muslims for peace? Why did they then give the they Sinai to Egypt Gaza? for why peace? Did they throw missiles over there. No, hold on a second. Why did, they give, why did they give the Sinai to Egypt? For peace. Why did they give the Gaza, Gaza Strip, to the Palestinian Authority? For peace. In Hamas's charter, what does it say? I'm not defending Hamas. How is, any, how, well, hold on a second. Right. You're, you're defending the Palestinian Authority, which is partners with Hamas, and they duly elected oh, no, them. No, no, no. How not is, how is Hamas's charter any different than Nazi Germany's charter towards the Jews? I'm not defending any of that. And for one, so it, what, what are you defending? Hold on. Exactly. For one, I'm defending the right of Palestine to exist, which I want to clarify. I am not telling you that you're being Islamophobic by supporting Israel. I'm not telling you that you want to kill the Muslims. So trying to say that 
the existence no, no, of Palestine. No, here's the fact. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I think this last ridiculous. weekend displayed the holes in your argument. When Jews go for their high holy day, Arabs come in and kill Jews. When Arabs want to have peace, the Jews will come to the table for a peace agreement. Abraham Accords, the Oslo Accords. Any time that the Arabs want to talk, the Jews will come to the table to talk in the Why? pursuit of peace. Why? Meanwhile, Why? this weekend, in a slight vulnerability, what happened? Jews are celebrating the end of Yom Kippur, the reading of the Torah, and they come in and they kill 900 Jews. And answer me this. If this was an isolated incident, why were they greeted as heroes by the people of Gaza after they killed 900 women and children? I want to make this clear once more because you seem to not be understanding. I am not defending these actions. I am simply refuting the claims that you made of earlier in this argument. Here's the thing. I, I think a two-state solution sounds great if you don't actually live in reality. Let me tell you what reality is. The Arabs don't want to govern their own people. They would rather hate Jews. Every day, they're saying death to the Jews, kill the Jews. They do not want to govern their own people. There is no middle ground when they have, they're, they're screaming to the sky for Antifada. Israel has been at the table time and time again. Do you agree? Abraham Accords, trying to find peace, trying to sit down with Mahmoud Abbas. The Israelites have hundreds yes, of Palestinian Alifat. children in detention. They have sent missiles to Palestine and killed hundreds of civilians after this event Netanyahu declared that he will send missiles to Palestine in an area where the Palestinian civilians are not able to leave. Wait, hold and on a second. Hold on a second. You, you mean the Gaza? Yes. Right, where they actually gave warnings to apartment buildings. What kind of – Israel is so bad Gaza. that they tell people they to build. leave before they bomb them. Hamas comes on a holy day in the kibbutzes and cuts women's heads off. At concerts, the moral equivalence is so different. And let me just ask you, what do you think is a bigger impediment to peace, Hamas or Israel? Uh, if you would like, I'd prefer if you could stop interrupting me. Um, well, I'm the speaker, you're not. So let me just like remind you, like you're a college kid, you say you came to our event. So let, let me just ask you a very clear question. Bigger impediment to peace, Palestinian Authority or Israel? Israel. Prove it. Israel. Tell, tell one situation where Israel has not come to the table. Israel has given up land. When was the last time the Palestinian Authority willingly gave up land for peace? Israel's bombed never, the land because, because they, they don't up. want peace. They want dead Jews. And we as Americans should never put up with the intentional extermination of Jews again in our country. Thanks for being here. Thank Israel. you. Thank you. We're going to the next question. Argue that when you have these debates We're going to the next question. Thank you. Thank so you. Why is it about it there? We're going to take the next question. Thank you. Thank you. That is closeted Jew hatred laundered through Arab talking points.